that is probably the first straight up acknowledgement of what went on. We're meant to go that way. But I don't want to, I want to explore. How high up are we at this point? Well, we're reasonably high up. A fall from this height would kill us. I mean, in a sense, they did they did achieve peace. It's just, you know, once they wiped everything out. Except for small clutches of human resistance that then, I guess, led very rough lives because they seem to have forgotten where they came from. Which can happen. You lose enough generations, you start losing information. You lose enough information, civilization regresses. I mean, we clearly know that they didn't succeed because we're here, but it seems that civilization itself did not survive. Or human civilization, at least. So, yeah. Whatever happened, it was enormous. It was absolutely catastrophic. It wiped out almost all human life. They're going down fast. Oh, that might be a bit of an exaggeration, but it certainly did enough damage that humanity did not recover fully and for that to happen you would probably take quite a lot humans are ridiculously survivable and incredibly adaptable so for us to have lost so badly that we forgot everything that is a very very big loss Back on, there we go. Hey, Laika, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, waddlings. <laughs> Members of, of, of Ika's waddle. He, 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 waddle yourselves over into a comfy place and enjoy. We are learning many, many things about why you shouldn't make war machines you can't turn off. No matter whether you call them peacekeepers. Uh, Peacekeeping machines or war machines. You always need a kill switch. Though honestly, there's probably no faster way to make an intelligent machine want to kill you than to install a suicide switch in it that it knows you can use. Because that gives it a very great deal of, uh, of drive to make sure you're not around to use it. Thank you very much for the cheer there. That's great. Though at this point, we are so full on, on resources that I very much doubt many crates will have anything worthwhile for us. And bear in mind, this place isn't actually that tall. Oh, well, that being said, the uh, leader of a corporation doesn't always need to be on the top floor. What if they've got what if they've got um, a fear of heights? They'd want to be lower down. So we can't assume that the 35th floor is the top. Only that it is where Pharaoh was. And so was important in some way. I dislike this, but all right. Oop. Box ahead. All hands on decks, Gordon Nakata. Now bear in mind that the 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 email was 
something started, I imagine trouble started, or all problems began. Now, that part was omitted, but it's easy enough to fill in the blank there. When it started attacking the, the host or whatever, I, and I'm, I'm fairly certain that name, I, I forget now what the name of the of the swarm was, but the, the energy um, corporation, I think it, the, the robots were their swarm. And so it started attacking their personnel and, and automated assets. Why? The BOR-7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high speed. That is not what I was looking for. There we go. From Gordon Nakata to Gina Zerman, all hands on deck. Gina, ever heard of Melville Island Fruit Association? Neither had I until they filed a suit against us this morning. Apparently, there's a little island paradise off the coast of Australia, population 2,700, all of whom hate us. Now that a stray heart Timor unit is chowing down on the la their largest mango orchard. That brings the official count of heart Timor related lawsuits to 127, most of them from private companies, but also a bunch from individuals, nation states and NGOs. And that's not even counting the mother of all liability claims from Hart itself. Call every external firm we've ever used, then call their competitors. We're going to need every corporate defense lawyer we can find who's still half sober on the bar. Oof. I just get this feeling with all of this that once stuff started going south, it really just escalated. Like, it wasn't a slow thing. Things started going wrong stupid fast. Oh, thank goodness I didn't die. Anything we can get to? No. Okay, there we go then. You take nothing from this, nothing else from this game. Take this. Never skip lag day or arm day. You never know when you're going to need to be able to, you know, climb up uh, a tower block with frozen girders and other such horriblenesses. It's uh, on this level now. Go anywhere? Actually, it does. Secrets? Or quest progression? Secrets. Because I will go back down if you suddenly tell me, oh yeah, you're on the right floor, you should be going this way. Please, secrets. Damn it! Sod it! Shenanigans. That's all I can say. Yeah, I bet that one goes all the way down. Okay, well, we're going back down. Sod it all! This is easier going down than it was going up. Well, to be fair, if I was... Oh, let's, let, actually, let's dive that back. If I was... Okay. If I was a killer robot and I could convert biomass into fuel, what fuel do you think would be the most efficient to convert? The mangoes that don't have arms, legs, or guns, or the humans, which have all of them, and really don't like being converted into biomass. Freezing out here. I suspect the killer robots are liking the mangoes is just common sense, really. It's not that they like it, it's just less threat. Until the humans became a threat, and then more threat. At which point, probably focus on eating humans. Stupid humans. They're annoying slave collars. Can 
I get to anything there? I'd have to leave something else behind. That looks like some of those should have been secrets, but oh well. I will walk back and forth if I think that I've missed something, by the way. Just warning everyone. I know it can be a little bit frustrating, especially if you've already played through the game and you know the path. But I want to be extra specially cautious on missing anything. Because I am finding this story fascinating. Come from there. Oh, one way to find out. Yes, I do. Okay, that's fine. Go. We are. Have we gotten to where we were before? There is a box through there that I can't access right now. Oh, really? Okay. Fair enough. Down. I think this may be where we just came from. Got too much already. When I decided to go back and walk walk down. Because there was a ramp leading up to doors. And yeah, this goes back down. So yeah, we just went in a big old circle, so we didn't miss out on anything. Just a couple of like odds and sods like crates. That I'm not really looking for those. I'm looking for um, story. Data storage. Okay, what have we got here then? Bandersea incident. Text mail. From Stacey Anders to Robert Rescher. Subject. Dolphin vid. Bob, another problem to add to our big steaming pile. Apparently, a fisherman in the Banda Sea captured a video of a Heart Team or Horus unit refueling via biomatter conversion along the shoreline of Palawetar uh, on a pod of endangered dolphins, no less. Quite possibly the last of their kind. Not to get graphic, but it looks like what happens inside a blender. As if the robot was whipping up a, a big pink swirling milkshake of dolphin chunk. Our suppression team has scrubbed it from 43 networks, but it's still propagating. So it's only a matter of time before it goes viral. A prepared statement feels grossly insufficient. Any suggestions? This one's a real stinker. Whoa. VPPR fast. Wow. So yeah, it, 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 is, it is capable of eating animals so eating humans is not is not off the cards at this point it, it was debatable you know maybe it was only programmed to, to eat dead things so it ate people that have been shot or something but that one was clearly eating life well, well you know recently alive dolphins not the pretty pretty side no 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 Can I pry open any of these? No. We are probably really chilly now. We're very far away. way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. 
And a not too severe wind, I guess. All right, made it. Oh, we're at the top. Wonder what we'll find. Oh, so it was uh, search Farah's office for information about Doctor Sobek. Okay. Now we're not at the top. Game wants me to go that way, so I'm going elsewhere. Scrap a leg. Interesting. All the way up here. That is a beautiful shot. We are very... We're above... Wow. Yeah, we're very, very high up at this point. Huh. I cannot even begin to, f to imagine how genuinely painful what Aloy is doing is. I'm... I've got a reasonably... Some people would say freakish tolerance for the cold. I, I walk barefoot in the snow because I enjoy the snow so much. But, um... A power cell. <gasps> Another power cell. Fantastic! If I find more, I should be able to get to that ancient armor I found. That took so long for me to find, though. Oh, my lord. But, um... I have a very big tolerance of the cold. It's not that I don't know it's cold. It is cold. I just like it. I like walking... I like that feeling of snow between my toes. But if I'm holding something, like I hold a can out of a refrigerator or something like that, I've only got a... Five-ish minutes before it gets to painful levels where... It's only willpower that I'm holding on, and that only lasts for a little bit longer before I actually have to let go because my fingers are starting to cramp up, and it takes a while afterwards for my for the joints in my fingers to feel like they can they can flex properly again. So the 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 kind of activities that Aloy is doing on on what can only be assumed is metal and just pulling herself up all the time is just frankly superhuman. Can't interact with this apparently. Bunker door, blast door, heavily shielded, seal integrity maintained. Uh, climber's fingers, I guess. Yeah, may maybe maybe you develop a, a thing to it. I mean, I guess it could be exactly the same. You know, if you handle cold things with your hands enough, you develop uh, a resistance to it in much the same way. I walked enough in, in really cold environments that my feet have developed a resistance to, to the cold, or at least the pain of it. Perhaps I, it's not even that there's a resistance. I've, I've literally killed off some of the nerves in my feet or something, but I seem to be quite tactile. I can I can tell the difference part of the street based on its texture. Like, like what part of, the, of, of a place I've walked before I am. That data has been erased oh. from this device. Do you wish to deploy other privileges to recover purge data? Uh, yes, yes. I, I do. The file has been recovered. Scan the data point. FAS executive data storage. Secure three zettabyte storage rack. Six percent power remaining. It's her mountain goat DNA. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh, holograms. Elizabeth, good to, uh... It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your daddy confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. 
<laughs> so spit it out. I want to see your face. There's a glitch in the chariot line. You're a killer robot? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch alone. Oh. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another fellow has been recovered. Ooh. How much power has this got left now? Oh, still 6%. That's good. Promising. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Are you, Ted? Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. Well, obviously not. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. Oh, wow. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how, how am I still stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth kicks out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. But not before the civilization was wiped fell, out. But life went on, or, or we wouldn't be here. A final fellow has been recovered. 6% power still. Okay, good. But 15 months. Well, but that's the thing. That's the problem. You build a machine that can make another machine in a week. Now they can make another machine in half a week. Or two machines in a week. You know, it, it doesn't actually speed up. It depends if they, they could work in concert. Um, in, in a lot of like uh, sh sci-fi shorts I've read, the idea of, of artificial intelligence that can learn, you know, you, you turn it on and it just starts consuming information, learning, you know, but then it starts off as, as barely quantifiable as intelligent within, you know, uh, two days, it's as intelligent as a dog within another d day it's as intelligent as a baby within five hours is as intelligent as a, as a very intelligent adult human within an hour it's now more intelligent than the most intelligent human who's ever lived within 10 minutes it's now so intelligent that you can't communicate with it because it communicates in on such a way that we're too dumb to understand what it's saying at that point and I suppose if you've made a swarm of self-replicating robots, that, that would, it, same kind of prospect would apply. It's just consuming fuel and making more of itself. And the faster, it, uh, the more it does, the faster it does it, until it runs out of fuel, which unfortunately in this case was us. So like, maybe the old ones sacrificed themselves in order to, you know, that they they willingly allowed civilization to be destroyed in order to 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 defeat the machines before they were able to finish well, basically eating us. Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you mm. to find a cure... Sounds like that's what she's pre presented. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to US Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? 
Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten Sounds me. like she does, actually. I'll sign. Only because she threatened you. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. I don't think it's God's forgiveness you need, mate. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. Maybe it was kind of like the whole Matrix. We don't know who fired the ship first shot, but we know it was us who burned the sky. But that, well, that wouldn't make sense because they're running on biomass, so... To, uh, the, 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 the solution in the Matrix was, was to stop them being able to be solar-powered. And then, actually, no, it's kind of like... <laughs> in many ways, only it skipped some of the steps. But, uh... Got a, a blue supply crate. I can't spare the weight. Yeah, they probably just threw all of their weapons at it and disabled it, but at the cost of like nuclear winter or something. Something that they knew the surviving survivability was so minor that civilization would fall. There was no way out of it. There was no way But then you'd wonder if they had like some arc this programs. Doesn't add up. Like um Sobek couldn't have been my generational mother. spaceships she lived or something. Ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. If that's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? Oof. You should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Okay. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Feel flattered. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. Hmm. <sighs> okay, I I feel that Aloy's whole life it has been strength and determination. A bit of heart, but only in certain circumstances. Her family. Rost, her only family. I don't think she really cares why the old ones died. The information is useful, but I, I don't think she's had the sort of life which would encourage her to mourn for the those who were already dead. And I suspect him calling her out. I mean, this is a pretty rough situation, but it probably would have cooled any any anger or frustration she might have had. So I'm going to go with. Intelligent. I see your point. I think I think it might have snapped her to a, a, a more sensible sort of location. All right, silence. You've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Sobek, and I have, but I still don't understand my connection to her, or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me, or who Hades is. No answers. Just. One question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. 
But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that feral robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? <laughs> Say, uh, I have more questions though, and I am not going to move until I have answers. Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. Okay. The most important one track of my focus. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... Complicated. Now, if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh, no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. I like that about the character silence. He didn't, he didn't take uh, umbrage with the fact that he'd just basically be told, shit down, uh, sit down, shit down, <laughs> may as well have been, sit down, shut up, and do as I say. Because she's right, she has the control. He wasn't even going to pretend that he did. And it was like, yeah, okay, fine. Do what you got to do. Let's just get this over with. That, as a character trait, is quite hard because when someone, when someone challenges you, it, it's very easy to want to to defend yourself or to rise to the challenge, but he was like, well, there's no point. I'm just, yeah, you're right. So ask your question. Um, interesting character, this. And I also love the voice actor. Very, very good actor. Um, well, your intentions seem to be gathering information. Is it possible it is best so Beck is alive? That seems very unlikely, but honestly, almost all of this is probably seems like miracles to to Aloy, so. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions oh. of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals mostly, an ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Oh. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Fair. Okay. Not interested in guesses. Interested in facts. But, uh... No, that's really interesting because I was about to say, well, this all but confirms the idea that that uh, we're, we're some sort of clone or at the very least. I, I mean, even if you were a descendant, there's so much mystery around Aloy's birth that it seems to hint at something more than just she's an ancestor where by through some providence an exact or, or, or exact enough copy of genes manifested. And it's not entirely outside the realms of possibility, but no, I, I was leaning more towards clone, but now 
what if Elizabeth Sobek is out there, but then why become a part of the game again if you've removed yourself from, from the playfield for so long? Faro Robots. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of. Oh, okay. I would explain the Deathbringer being fairly weak earlier. Who is Hades? So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades? It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. With a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Yeah. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. Mm, that would make sense. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old That's my running theory, yeah. Itself. So we really don't want to let, it, let it get to a point, even if we were able to uncover one of these super weapons or the super weapon we wouldn't want it to have to be at a point where we would have to activate it because look what it did to the last civilization that did and that was a significantly more advanced one hmm and yes in, in regards to the the theory in, in chat that uh what if aloy is elizabeth sobek well first and foremost elizabeth sobek looked older than aloy is and we've also been playing aloy since she was a baby or at least we can trace her roots all the way back to her being a baby. Uh, I mean, uh, it would have to be seriously high fantasy if there was some sort of regenerative pharmaceutical that literally reversed your aging. <laughs> I don't think that's very likely. Okay, let's let's ask the, the last one. What are his intentions? Is it just gathering information or what? Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this personal yeah I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago an explorer of forbidden places a searcher of lost knowledge exactly as I said why do you know so much about the Eclipse I happen to know a lot about a lot of things if what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else I don't Fair enough. I am nothing if not independent. Okay, all right. I feel that I can trust that answer, honestly. I'm done with you. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists oh. as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cheery name. You'll find it in the eastern mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll okay. meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. <laughs> That's fair. Ooh, skill point. Lots of EXP as well. Not that we can release... Oh, actually, no, no, we can. We can use this on things. Mount repair... Machine Repair, Mount Repair Plus. Hmm. Does this make them stronger than they would be naturally? I don't know. Calling a... well... Hmm. Greatly increased chance... To knock off armor components. 
Heavy speed attacks will knock down machines faster. Heavy speed attacks will increase damage. I don't care for that one. I think I'm going to go for the coal mount because that's going to be so useful later on. But we've got something here that I did not have a look at. Oh, are these the logs? Yeah, I think they are. Yeah, yeah, they are. Okay, that's very, very interesting. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. Alright, where is U.S. Robot Command? Oh! Oh, this is the location that we had gone to... Just before we went to the... Uh, well, rather, before we would be able to access the... Frozen Wilds. Hmm. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I can see the Metal Devil. But didn't we go further up for that? I feel like we might have. But there were tanks all over here, if I recall correctly. Like, everywhere. Well, that's very interesting. Another vantage over there that we need to go to as well. Alright, well that was crazy interesting. That was a lot easier than going up. We're all the way back down on the bottom. Uh, no, no, no. I want the, I want the map. Damn it. I really want the map. Uh, no way of me bringing up the map of this area. Like I just did a moment ago. Damn it. Oh, so I need more of these. Oh, that's super useful. Anything else that I might be missing before I skedaddle off? Let's not be too in a rush. What we got down there? Supply crate. Here comes the snow. Okay, well, let's get down there. <laughs> it's a neat ticket. I feel like I'm missing things. Uh, mind you, I can't scan. Like, I'll see the crates still, unfortunately, because I haven't looted them completely. Try that open? No. Right. If the scannables are always on the compass, that's going to make finding them so much easier for me. But I still have this this kind of instinctual drive to to stop and use my focus constantly. Oh, we're all the way back down on the bottom there. I don't even see the top. Well, that was a journey of discovery. Moving on. Goodbye, right? Oh, did we go through there in order to get to the Deathbringer? Or was the Deathbringer in this direction? I think the Deathbringer was in this direction, actually. So let's stay out of. I think I should turn around. Really? <laughs> I, d I will be honest, that, that is one thing that lets this game down. Their use of invisible walls and, like, auto turn backs and stuff like that. It's like, hmm, really? Is this where we fall to death right No, this isn't. Okay, well. 
At any rate, we're heading down this our way. Yeah, it looks like this place is still empty. Won't be the first time that uh, an area I previously cleared suddenly gets filled with enemies because I'm leaving the quest location. If I've missed anything in the tower, honestly, I felt I was so thorough there that I wouldn't feel content being told what I missed or, or to even go back because I am genuinely ready to just sign off on that place. And at that this point, I would consider it massive spoiler territory to be told, no, 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 you, you completely missed this thing that, that you can find by going here or there or there or here. Um... Like, when I've honestly given it my best shot, then it's fair that I, I don't discover it. That's something maybe I could find in a future playthrough of the game. Right, we're back out. That was, that was a crazy, what, two hours? Wow. Two hours just full of story. Though, there's a part of my mind that's like, Mur. will that be a very fun to us? Because I spent a long time just looking around. Through that is is that going to be are those going to be two enjoyable vods for YouTube? But oh well, sometimes you can't win them all. I guess sometimes. I need uh, red grass. That is not red grass. That is unfortunate. Looking for stealth grass. No stealth grass to be found. Much sad. I could force robot wars if I have to, but I'm not looking to. Indeed. Uh oh. Hello there. Looks like I'm gonna have to go past the Glint Hawks, unfortunately. Yeah, it seems that I did choose a pretty good moment, not just because it was fun to cliffhanger at that point. It took me two hours to clear it, so odds are that would have been a real pain in the bum to uh, clear properly if I hadn't have uh, stopped it at that point. Which is annoying because this weapon is generally fairly good at being accurate. Well, I guess I'm okay if they both just kill each other. Damn it. That's annoying. My arrow shots are awful right now. For some reason, I'm not usually this bad. Oh well. I guess I'll just leave it to it. It might not be close enough to aggro on me if, while I'm approaching the uh, vantage point. But if it does, then it'll be closer for me to hit. So it's not such a bad, uh, bad trade. Definitely aware that I'm here, though. It's going to make getting this vantage point a little bit more tricky. Oop. Look at that shadow, though. Oh, 
here's the problem part because it might attack me from behind. Gonna get back up, but okay, need more really badly. Come on, or it decides to spit chill water at me. Okay, that stands up. Now I can focus on this uh, vantage point. Of course, it's collectibles, not not data. My bad. Right. Hi, Ma. Remember how ecstatic we were when I landed a job here? Aerospace control engineer, uh, engineer at Farrow Automated Solutions, straight out of Stanford U. Saturday, I was tossing a, a motorboard. Monday, I'm an employee of the biggest corporation on earth. Starting wage, six times basic. It was a dream come true. Yours, as much as mine. When I found out I landed the gig, I waited until graduation day to tell you in person. You were so proud. You hugged me five minutes straight, laughing and crying at the same time. Saying over and over, onwards and upwards, the start of great things. I thought so, too. It seems as though nothing bad would ever happen to me, to us, ever again. But bad did happen. Course. More bad than I ever knew was possible. And while I can't blame FAS for making you sick, Metallurgic gets the credit for that. I can sure as hell blame Pharaoh for the rest. But let's talk about the end of the world later. It plays a part in this story, of course. If I hadn't found out what was coming, I wouldn't be doing this, leaving these time capsules behind. But the apocalypse isn't the story I want to tell. This is going to be about our family. About us. It's time to get bought, going. I've spent enough of my life in the shadow of this place. I've got 11 more Vantage Spikes in the trunk of the uh, Sabara I rented. And some pretty good ideas for where to sink them. So let's get the hell away from this place and start sinking. It's interesting that that's apparently like day one when it's in set three. Very interesting. 